everyone and welcome to the breakdown today I'm gonna be teaching you how to live stream to YouTube using XSplit. XSplit which is just a black screen right now is an incredible program that allows you to stream to tons and tons of different places do local recording and all of that it's really really good it's what I use primarily to record actually but we're gonna be talking about live streaming today and we're specifically gonna be talking about live streaming to YouTube so how do you set up YouTube live streaming in XSplit it's actually pretty easy just click outputs and then where it says YouTube and if it doesn't say YouTube set up a new output YouTube live is what you're gonna to want to do and then it's going to pull up this little dialog box now, with the channel ID, it's actually pretty cool. You just click authorize, and it'll open up this, where you then need to log in to your Google account. So let me do that. So once you've logged into your Google account, you'll see something like this. You just want to click where you want to live stream. In my case, it's going to be to that. And then click allow and let it through. Now, what it's going to do is put, import some stuff for you, your title, your description, all of that stuff you have it set over here will be imported. To change this stuff, you're going to want to put it over here in this thing. But now, it's actually good to go. You just go ahead and click OK. And then it says you have a bitrate of 1,000. This is below YouTube's minimum recommended bitrate of 4,370. So let's go ahead and change that. We can upgrade the bitrate to 5,000. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you have pretty decent internet. Truthfully, to output a 1080p stream, you're going to need about 3,500. But the more you can do, the better. Go ahead and click OK. And then now if we go up to outputs, we will have YouTube Live, Nick King. Click that, and it will start to stream as soon as we hit Start Broadcast. So you've hit start broadcast and back here it'll take it a second but in a moment or two it will go live and it will start receiving our data up here at the top. I'm going to wait a second until that happens. And there it goes. It actually happened right as I said that. Just see it and now the stream is starting. Eventually in a second or more too here it will start streaming. It will actually connect and start streaming and there we go. Two seconds passed and now if we go ahead and refresh this page you'll be able to see it come up right here with a live stream of a black screen which is just so entertaining I know but if we want to take the black screen go away we can do that and then it will come up here in the background that is how you stream to YouTube using XSplit very very easy you don't have to worry about stream keys or anything crazy like that XSplit takes care of it all for you and there in the background there it is Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We have already. We make awesome videos every single day. I'm out, guys. Peace.